Hello everybody, welcome to another redstone tutorial video. And today I will be doing a duo tutorial video showing you these a flush floor piston door. Sorry about that run there. And a flush ceiling piston door. So first off, I will be showing you how both of them work. And then I will be giving you a little bit of a tutorial on how to build both of them. First off, here is the floor piston door. Click the lever on, closes the door, flick it off, opens it up real nice and fast. And also, it's really easy to build. Just this very simple to build. If you, you can normally just build it straight off of this, but if you want, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial later in the video. So that is the floor piston door, and now it's time to move on to the ceiling piston door, which is pretty much the same concept, but this time from the top, for if you just need a tunnel going up for some reason. Like if you have like a fishing, if you have an AFK fish farm, and you want to like hide the sunlight or whatever, because sky axis makes it much better. So if you want to hide that away in your house, this would be pretty good use for that. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what else you could use for it for. But if you need something like this, that's how you do it. It's also basically the same thing if here, if you need it. Sorry, I had that redstone dust there. Not supposed to be there. But yeah, you can probably just build it straight off of here. But otherwise, I will be showing you how to build it later on. So first off, now that you've seen how both of these work, now we'll be building it over here. And all you need to build it is just the stuff I have in my hotbar, one repeater. I use three redstone dust as my input, but otherwise, yeah, you could use... It only technically needs one for this one, but otherwise, yeah. Uh, three sticky pistons, then just some dummy blocks. So, first off, here is where your hole is going to be for your thing, or for your trapdoor, flush trapdoor. Uh, just got to place in these blocks to make the tunnel a little bit easier to see. So first off, if there's your hole, go over two blocks, one, two, place in the two pistons facing that way, go up, place in another piston, then place your block that matches whatever your floor has to hide it away, and now come around to whatever side. Either side will work, but I'm just doing this side. Place your block there, with a piece of redstone dust on top of it and then run a repeater into that block from the side here but next to your upwards facing piston set it to two ticks facing in the block with the redstone dust and here you have two options I'm going to be powering the block from this side because uh, it's just easier but you could also run an input through from this side if you want just you need to power this block some way, shape, or form to power that repeater. But yeah, as you can see, this works just fine. Click it on, click it off, opens and closes just fine. And that's how you build the floor piston door. Now it's time to move on to the ceiling piston door, which is a little bit easier to build, a little less resources, but otherwise, Take your hole, go over two blocks, piston, piston, then here's going to be a little bit tricky to place, where place that facing downwards, then block, matches your ceiling if you want it hidden, then you place a block next to that piston, block there, here's where your tunnel's going to be, I should just fill that in quick, there's your tunnel, place a repeater, Running into that block, set to two ticks, block, redstone dust, redstone dust. With well, this is kind of the same thing. You could have I have the two redstone dust there, but you could have an input from this side also running into wherever you want, just some input to power that block to make this run. But as you can see, works just fine as a door. So that is all that I have for you today. I would like to thank all of you for watching this redstone tutorial, and I'll see you all in the next 
episode.